Good morning, dogs. FAFSA, Fortissimo, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do you need help filling out the free application for federal student aid? If so, Purdue Extension is hosting a FAFSA event on Tuesday, February 21st from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. You must make an appointment before February 17th. To make an appointment, please call or email Esmeralda Cruz. Fortissimo auditions will be held on February 14th, directly after school. All students wanting to audition will need to prepare a verse and a chorus from two contrasting songs. There will be a dance portion as well, so they should bring a change of clothes for that too. Good luck to all of the band and orchestra students who will be performing a solo and ensemble competition tomorrow at Kokomo High School. Now, we'll send it to host sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Last night, the JV dogs traveled to Crawfordsville to take on the Athenians. The hot dogs competed well in a rough and intense game. With both teams getting an early advantage, the Lady Hot Dogs got beat by six, with Ashley Vasquez having five, Sara Flores, Vanessa Guardo, and Evelyn Vasquez with all two. And the Lady Hot Dogs finished their season with eight wins. Good job, girls. And the freshman boys bounced back Thursday night against Crawfordsville, winning 49-29. to Noe Sandoval shot five for six, scoring 10. And Jaden McAbee added 16 points. And perfect on the night, eight for eight of shooting. Matthew Berry also added 14 of his own. They will take on Northmont on Monday and Hamilton Heights on Wednesday of next week to finish up the regular season. Now I'm going to send it to Emily. Happy Friday. We walked in with quite a cold start at 16 degrees. It currently feels like 3 degrees. The wind is what's making it feel colder out. Later tonight, we're going to have snow flurries and possibly some rainfall. We'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies. Wind gusts will be up to 35 miles per hour. After sunset, the wind will begin to reduce. Use caution if you drive today. Saturday should be a cloudy day per usual, but we have a chance of some slight rain developing over midnight. Highs will be in the upper 30s and lows will be in the lower 20s. The chance of rain is 80% and the wind will range from 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday morning, we'll get some snow showers. The morning high will hit 38 degrees. The chance of snow currently sits at 60%. That's all for weather. Thanks, Emily. Here at home, it's senior night for the girls. The tip-off is at 6 versus Crawfordsville. Time to recognize these ladies, Jalen Vessels and Madison Cook. And then right after, the boys will follow as they play Crawfordsville as well. The theme is neon and construction, so be a highlighter or dress like Emmett from the Lego movie. But these games are here live on the Hot Dog Network thanks to our friends at the ISC Sports Network. Oh, and tomorrow the Hot Dog Network will be back thanks to the ISC Sports Network as the boys will play West Lafayette here at home. Start time is at six, so JV start and a varsity follow. Oh, and one more thing. Our crew here at the Hot Dog Network caught up with Emma Pillion after huge accomplishments. Now, I'm gonna let Lily take the stage. What's up, dogs? Today we're here with Emma Pillion our first females ever Sagamore Conference champion and our first ever state champion. Let's see what she has to say. My inspiration to start doing wrestling was I was kind of forced to go to all of the events because my stepdad worked it. And one day I was like, if I'm gonna be here, like forced to be here, I wanna do the sport. So then after I joined it, I would work with some of the high school girls that were, I think, seniors at the time. And then as I came into high school, there were uh, the twins from Northmont that I, I kind of looked up to because I would watch them wrestle and they were, their technique was just so good. I do want to thank my coaches um, that came and pushed me to where I am today, like Mike Riggins, Ray, my stepdad, Stevie, um, my practice partners that would help me during practices, uh, Armando Roa, my sister Erica, Braden Wessel when he would come down there. Um, and I wanna thank them for not 
giving up on me with how my season went last year. After high school, I plan to study psychology and work with spe specifically with children, but I do plan to wrestle, I don't wrestle while studying. Thanks, Emma. Congratulations once again. This was Lily from the Hot Dog Network, and thank you for watching. Thanks, Carlos, and all of us here at the Hot Dog Network would like to take a second and thank all of our su subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and with more than 468,000 views, so thanks again, dogs. For lunch today, lines 1 and 2 is soft tacos, and lines 3 and 4 is baked potato bar. A very special happy birthday goes out to Guadalupe Cardenas. And that's all for tonight, dogs. Make sure you subscribe and like, and we hope to see you all again Monday. Have a fantastic Friday, dogs.